the intervention in the sugar sector is not just the leasing. There are many other policy changes that we are implementing. And we are happy that the sugar bill is now uh, uh, ready to, to be discussed at the plenary in the National Assembly and eventually in the Senate so that the policy changes that we proposed in that bill will benefit the farmers. We've been waiting for a long time. Uh, we finished that work of reviewing the bill that is sponsored, the private member's bill, but which we have done a lot of our own input. We've been able to put the tax force recommendations that were recommended by the tax force are actually amendments in that bill. We are happy that it has now reached a stage where we will soon have a new law uh, that will help us par uh, and deal with the challenges that are affecting the sugar sector. But we've been implementing some of those reforms already. We already have in place a price uh, a pricing, sugar pricing, uh, sugar cane pricing committee that is gasseted. I remember I was just renewing the amendment today that sits down to look at the price. And remember I announced uh, also a minimum price for, for sugar cane the other day. It is from the reforms we have been doing. Uh, of course, in the long term, the most important thing is to the privatization of the government meals that are in, that have been impacting on, on, the, on the, the, the earnings of farmers. And uh, we are re looking into it on how to fast track it. Uh, we are on leasing, we have not abandoned it. We have a committee internally in government that is actually looking at how to deal with, especially some of the stakeholders who have been uh, uh, taking us to court to see how we can negotiate, resolve those court cases to give us room to conclude that process of leasing the, the, the factories. The farmers can't wait any longer. There is a lot of challenge, there is a lot of problems. The farmers in Western Kenya, they can't wait any longer. We are in the final stages of reviewing that decision and talking to stakeholders to have it concluded. I know there are also people who have been saying appoint board members to, to the factories, I have heard that. But uh, what they have not realized is there was a court case that stopped us from appointing boards. We are waiting for that court case to be resolved. Not for the sugar factories only, even other boards. There was a court case and a judgment which said we have not done it the right way. Now we are waiting for the Attorney General to give us advice on what to do moving forward. And then we will be able to bring back the boards.